This is Doug Edgel, FingersOnTheFrets.com, and this is Fingerstyle Blues in D for Bill. So, this is the fifth in the series. I did C, A, G, E, and D, uh, the caged chords. So what I did was I took those th uh, five keys, um, because those are the main chords, shapes that we use on the guitar, and I decided to create a series for my buddy Bill, um, and this is the last one using those uh, five keys, C, A, G, E, and D, and this is the Fingerstyle Blues series. So there may be a Fingerstyle with a uh, I'm sorry, there may be a blues with a pick series, C, A, G, E, and D, but this is for the finger style. Check it out. This is what you'll get for every one of my lessons. Um, you can download these individually for each lesson that you find at the website. The videos are free. Go to fingersonthefrets.com. Free videos. A lot of them are on YouTube as well. Go to the website. Download the PDF. A couple bucks, you know. Otherwise, I'll have to get a job. <laughs> and, um, you can learn every one of these examples. If you wanted to become a member, you could get not only the video of the PDF, you're going to get a Guitar Pro 6 file for each example. And that is fantastic. It's a great company. Uh, the, for the tablet, it's only 5 to 10 15 bucks, something like that. And I, you can download the, the file and keep it forever. And you can play back all these examples, slow them down, loop sections for practice. It's a great way to do it. All right, uh, here we go. Uh, D, as we know, is this, but I didn't want to do the same thing. So I'm going to do a D over F sharp chord, and we're going to descend it. And we're going to end up here on a D7 chord, but a C7 shape, which is here. So we've got... sort of into the G chord here with the same idea of what we've got. And this is kind of an odd way to play that chord, but it worked what the way my fingers were landing. And then we're back to this one. to the C note, because it kind of finished the phrase, question and answer, that uh, sort of thing. I'm sure you can hear that in there. Okay, so that is um, section one. I'll do it one more time. It's still a D chord, but I'm going to come up here on the neck in this position. Now this would be an A form, or if you want to see it like that, or the A7 form, but it's a D chord. So again, we're trying to utilize all the C, A, G, E, D chord shapes when I'm creating these, so you get an idea and an understanding of how you can move around the, the neck. So that's the lick right there. Now, you might say, well, that... That's a D7 right there. It looks like the A7 chord, but it's a D7 here. So using an open D, okay, now we can go to the G chord. I'm using an open G, and I'm going to do this little line here in first position. the 
final two measures is a turnaround, just like a, I don't even want to call it a turnaround, or just like an ending, I guess you'd say. I just want to come up with something that just said, this is over, you know. So, you know, based out of the D blues scale with the little chromatic uh, movements in there and stuff like that. But uh, it's been a joy to create these uh, for Bill and then the popularity of them became such where I had to kind of release them to everybody else in my student base. Um, there are hundreds of people, thousand maybe even now that have studied off of the website and uh, thank you so much everybody for watching and listening and uh, caring about my arrangements. Um, I've got some great other arrangements as well of uh, some Beatles tunes and some other things. Um, Cavatinas has become a popular arrangement. So thank you so much. Fingersonthefrets.com. My name is Doug Edgel, and uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.